Frog and snail fall into the well. One day, a frog and a snail both fell into a well together. They discussed how to get out. The snail said, "It is so deep, no one could see us. We'd better to climb out." The frog agreed with it, since they could not think of a better way. The snail crawled way slower than the frog. It kept climbing step by step and tried very hard to get closer to the top of the well. The frog jumped up and adhered by his fins, then stopped to take a break. Then he was distracted by the fireflies and asked them to light up the road. He felt so exhausted and quacked to his friend, the little fox, to see if he was around the well. Unexpectedly, the little fox heard the frogs crying for help and found the rope to pull him up. The frog showed off to the snail. See, I have the rope. I don't need to climb, so I can easily get out of here. I can take you out if you promise me to follow my lead. What do you think? The little snail answered without any doubt. No need. I can climb up by myself. The frog was not happy to hear this, and it left the snail alone. The snail kept climbing without stopping. Because of the rope, soon the frog passed the snail. Suddenly, here came the roaring sound of the tiger. The fox was too scared to hold the rope. What a miserable frog! He fell off down to the bottom of the well again and got injured. Finally. The snail climbed to the top of the well while the frog was still calling for help. From this story, the snail insisted on his things. Although it is a long process, eventually he made it to the top of the well. On the contrary, the frog always asked help from others and was finally injured. In the real world, everyone will encounter problems. You may receive help from others all the way to succeed, to be addicted to others' help, or to constantly self-improve for a better life. The choice is ours.